Awesome. So we talked about the Himba tribe and how the Himba tribe didn't have a color for the word blue. Therefore, when presented with all the options, they said, show me the blue square. They couldn't do it. So I want you to think about that. What have you never been able to communicate? Love, your intentions, how to break up with someone, how to um, communicate a solution at work, how to communicate your feelings for someone, how to uh, communicate your goals, how to communicate your achievements, how to communicate when you're scared, how to communicate when you're vulnerable. I want you to think about what that means for you right here, right now, in the past. What have you not been able to communicate that if you had of, a whole new course of action would have transpired? It could have been a negative consequence or it could have been an absolute magical consequence. It could have been you couldn't articulate your way to tell someone that you loved them. As a result, they got doubt. They crept in and all of a sudden there was disconnect and isolation, anger and frustrations crept in and you guys are now apart. But all you wanted to do is you just wanted to tell them how you felt about them, but you didn't. You were too scared. You didn't know how to verbalize it. Now it's gone. Think of a time where your miscommunication or your inability to communicate has created something negative in your world and it had no, there was no need for that to occur. I also want you to think about that. To reflect on it, if you can't language it, it doesn't exist. I want you to now think about this for your goals and your mission. So later on, there's a learning about goals and mission. It's really, really important now that we start to be able to language what we want. Start to language our mission, how to language our goals, what we need to achieve, the here and the now. What's our aim? What's our goals? What's our desires? What's our most, you know, do we want a legacy? Like, what is it for you? I want you to start to think about this. I want you to specifically think about your business, your vocation, your success, your love, your happiness, and, and what the inability of you being able to language it appropriately has done for you. Because your growth in all these areas, it requires that you have the ability to language it. So I want you to break it down. Love, happiness, vocation, uh, wealth, health, success, influence, connection, contribution, adventure, whatever it is for you. We need to language what we want to get out of these things. We need to language what we're going to create. We need to language what we're going to innovate. Because if you can't language it, it doesn't exist. It's really, really powerful. We need to start to do this, start to language to win, start to language our future.